Getting a great cup of coffee when you're travelling is normally not so difficult, but when you consider waking up in your hotel room first thing in the morning and looking for a great cup of coffee, you've got a few options open to you. There's instant coffee and then there's instant coffee. But if you're like me, you won't settle for instant coffee. I love espresso coffee and getting an espresso coffee first thing in the morning is really important to me. Hi, I'm Jim. I love to travel and I love to drink coffee. In this video, I'll show you how you can get an espresso cup of coffee in your room without leaving your room. Stay with me. After a considerable amount of research, I ended up purchasing the Wakako Pico Presso. It claims to be very good and the reviews are very strong, so I was pretty confident with my purchase. I can't wait to give it a try. So I've just pulled it out of the box and I am absolutely amazed at how beautiful that looks. It's such a tactile feel on the lettering and the graphics are really nice. This would make a beautiful gift for someone that's uh, really into coffee. Um, let's have a look inside. Wow, that came off nicely, but the box itself is such a beautiful presentation box. It's going to be a shame to throw that away after I've uh, removed the device, but I might have to try to find a use for that. It's a beautiful box, and it's so tightly fitting. It comes off really nicely, and oh, look at that um, packaging. It's beautifully made, um, and the presentation is unbelievable. That's, uh, that's the device here, obviously. It's got some accessories a user manual and a uh, protective case. That's a really thick plastic case. I could uh, see that you know, rolling out of my case or onto the ground or something and uh, really being useful in protecting that. That's, uh, that's gonna go a long way to help me store that when I'm traveling. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got in the box. We've got the, um, the Pico Presso. Now, I had the previous version, the Nano Presso, and the reason I've upgraded to this is because it takes a larger shot of coffee. Now, I had no idea it was going to be this beautifully presented. It's got a knurled ring around the bottom that helps you unscrew it. The sides here have angles cut into it, so it's like 12, 12 edges or something. Um, um, I think that's a dodecahedron um, in science terms. Um, and at the top here, you've got a place where you put the water. So the way this thing works is you put water in the top, you put coffee grounds in the bottom, you open this up and you start pumping it and the water pumps through the device, through the coffee grounds and into the cup. Now, it has a really nice plastic uh, base on it that you can peel off here. That sits there on the table. And that's so you, after you've finished and it's still dripping coffee, you can just sit that onto there and it will catch all your drips. But the coffee will come out of here. So let's have a look at inside and see how they've made it. So that's a, a seal and a screwable cap. This is, this is nice. This is uh, your dosing um, spoon, so that just swings out like that, so that's when it's easier. Oops, 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 that just screws back in here like that. There you go, that clicks in there, and that just swings out um, uh, as you need it. You can take your coffee grounds uh, and put it into the, the basket. Let's have a look at the basket now. Well, what else do we got in here? Oh, there's a cleaning brush, and we've got the base here, I like that. I like when I have a device that has screws, and this particular one has um, hexagonal screws, which is helpful if I needed to pull this thing apart. I could get inside and uh, make any repairs, should it be necessary. Um, not that I'm looking at repairing it anytime soon. Now, this is the bottom of the unit. Now, you can see that there's a hole here, and there's some uh, uh, other holes here. They call that a shower screen, and that uh, helps distribute the uh, water across the whole surface area of the coffee. Now here's the dosing basket. Now that's really cool. That's uh, it's tapered, as you can see, so you can put a smaller shot in the bottom, or you can fill it right up and have a larger shot. Now this particular um, coffee maker is designed to take up to 20 grams of coffee. Now that's basically what I use in my espresso machine at home. So. 
um, 20 grams is a, basically a double shot. So that's a really nice volume of coffee to be able to make a full flavored coffee. So you'd put your coffee in there. Then, uh, oh, before you do that, look what they've supplied. It's a dosing ring. Now, what, why do we use one of these? We use these because they slip over the top like that and they stop you from stomping coffee all over your table with, when you're making it. So put a dosing ring on top. And then we've got um, a coffee tamper to press the coffee in. But before we do that, look what else they've given us. They've given us a little needle that you use to distribute the coffee and break up any lumps that you have um, in the coffee. Once all that's done, uh, you take your your um, tamper and you put it down on top and you press the coffee down so you get a nice flat surface area. After that, you can put that into the coffee machine and start your process. So why don't we go and make a cup of coffee? I'm really excited about this. Stay with me. So, okay, here we go. Now, I haven't used this before. This is genuinely my first time. So um, I'm going to use a set of scales just to see how well this spoon measures my coffee. So let's just um, try that for the moment. So that's about, that's about a level spoon. Let me tear that off. I've used the dosing ring to help make sure I don't lose any. And I'm just going to put some in here and see what we've got. Okay, that was 11.4 grams, so maybe a little bit too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level off that top now to make sure that I don't put in as much as I had before. It was a little bit higher than uh, the top before. Okay, and now, wow. So this is really good. If you level this off, you'll get about 10 grams. So I'm sitting now at 20.7. And you can see that the coffee is basically right up to the top of the, um, what do we call that, the basket. So I'm going to stir that around a bit now, just to make sure I've um, evened out the coffee. And I'm going to use my tamper over the top. And I'm going to push that down. Okay, and that didn't look quite look level. There you go. That's better. Just check it again. Yep, yep, that's really good. So that's that's really good. It's quite helpful. It uh, swivels here, so as you move, it doesn't really have any effect on turning the bottom, which you shouldn't do anyway. But it does enable you to press down nicely and get a nice, consistent level over that basket. All right, so next step is to put in place the shower screen. So we'll put that in place there. And then all of that goes into here. So I'm going to slide that over the top. And I'm just going to screw that in. That's That went in really easy. Nice and firm. That's good. Now I'm going to put some water in here. So I've just boiled some water. Now what you should do is with these things, you should run some hot water through them first just to make sure that you heat the device. Heating the device will help you get a nice cup of, cup, of, cup of coffee. Although what I do is I generally make my shots and then I top it up with a little bit of hot water because I like an Americano. All right, first time, let's see how we go. I can feel I'm pressing, 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 and I can feel it getting tighter. Well, that was no good. There's no crema on that. We're going to have to do that again. Okay, so we're going to give it another go. Now, we've had a few goes of this now. Um, I'm getting a bit sick, to be honest with you. I'm getting a bit sick of putting coffee through it and not getting my desired crema. I'm a very impatient person, so uh, uh, that's to be expected. But according to the instructions this is a necessary part of getting everything right that's only 16 grams i've used the scales because i just want to make sure i remove any element of error now you don't have to use scales you can just use you know two scoops three scoops whatever you need so that's 20 grams that's good just level that off a bit and i'll use my needle that they've supplied to break up any clumps i can see the clumps and fill up all those spaces properly with coffee. Otherwise, when you pressurize it, the water will go around the path of least resistance. So it'll go around the coffee 
and it won't um, uh, extract coffee. It'll just be plain water coming through. So push that down. That's good. That's all done. And I'll just make sure that's proper. Yep, that's good. Okay, now we can screw that back on to the bottom of the door. Oh, nearly forgot the shower screen. It would have been a problem because the coffee wouldn't have had any resistance. The shower screen helped provide the resistance. Now, where are we? We've got some, uh, we've got our container full of coffee. We're now going to add water. I'm just going to bring it up to just above that uh, plunger uh, casing there. Um, pressure or sealable top. Make sure that we put that on before we start moving things around, otherwise you're going to burn your hand with the hot water. There it is. That goes on there. That's perfectly sealed now. So here we go. Now I'm going to give it a few pumps to infuse it first. Now I'm just going to wait. You wait a few seconds. You can see it coming through. Let that water infuse into the coffee. Maybe five or so seconds and then continue. And you can see that beautiful crema coming out now. Look at that golden colour. And I'm, I'm pressing quite hard. That plunger is letting me know that it is really forcing that water through that coffee and giving me the greatest extraction. So that's so nice and it's just running so well. Look, look how well that's running. There's a lot of pressure build up in there and it's all crema. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's just gone uh, soft now, letting me know that I've finished. Our handy little um, protector that stops the drips from hitting the table. We put that on there and we'll have a look at that crema. Look at the color and look at the depth of that crema. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, you couldn't actually want uh, for a better cup of coffee. That's just as good as I would get out of my espresso machine. It's beautiful. Thank you, Wakako. Great job. Now, packing it away is a bit of a Lego exercise, but I did finally work it out. Shower screen goes into the uh, base. We can put the spoon in the bottom of that. Then we can put that over the top of that and that um, area is complete that can be screwed straight into the bottom so that's nicely done then we can take this part we slide that into the the base slide our tamper in over the top of that oh, no what I, I forgot something i did so i worked it out but i messed up put our little leveling device in there now i never take the um, brush with me. I never used it in the old one, I won't use it in this one either. So that goes in the top of that. That screws up there like that, which is nice. This plastic device can go on the bottom. Press that on. We push this in and turn. That's locked. Now that then sits in our little case and we've got an indent there for our plunger. Let's tighten that up. I even like the style of zip. Look how thick that zip is. It's beautifully made. They've really spared no expense. Well, I hope you found that information valuable. In terms of purchasing the coffee machine, I purchased the coffee machine on Amazon. Uh, it was at my door within a couple of days. The other thing worthwhile to note is that I did mention in the video that the coffee grind or the coarseness or fineness of the coffee does have an impact also, the type of coffee you buy will too. So try a couple, just buy small bags of coffee, uh, try a few until you get the one you like and uh, you'll get the best outcome. I hope you found this information valuable. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you're enjoying a great cup of coffee. Take care.